Yo, what's up everyone, it's Tian the producer here, and I'm about to show a really cool trick you can do with BTalk and GarageBand. So right now I'm just gonna make a sample project in GarageBand. I'm gonna make use of the classical grand, and I'll make use of the autoplay feature just to show that you can, if, you can, if you're good at playing piano, great. If not, you can use the autoplay and demonstrate this. Anyways, I'm enabling the autoplay. I just use the autoplay one and play some chords. Let's go now. Anyways, I'm done recording the piano. I want to now add in a new instrument, which is going to be the bass. Notice how I'm using the keyboard for all of this. For this trick to work, you need to select the keyboard instrument because we're trying to get the MIDI information, which shows up here. Anyways, I've got the Liverpool bass here. I'm also going to use autoplay here, but if you're good at playing bass on the keyboard, go for it. Let's go. Alright, so we're done recording this bass here and what we're going to do now is we're going to make use of a really really cool app known as BTalk. Yeah, you guessed it from the title. So we're going to select BTalk and what I want to do on BTalk is I want to go to the main page. This is what you normally see. There's quite a few squares there and each square has their own unique sounds. You can choose to add some if you make a kit in BTalk or you can choose to use the default one. In this case, I'm using the default one. I'm going to use one of the sounds for the bass and the other square for the keyboard. What you want to do is make sure you select the third icon there. It allows you to play the instrument, kind of like a keyboard. Anyways, you can actually drag the MIDI directly into BTalk. Now, here's where the magic happens. All you want to do is make sure you press the record icon at the bottom right. The record icon is actually going to record the MIDI on the timeline. Also set it to the number of bars you're using. It's the maximum of 16 bars. In this case, I'm just using an 8 bar loop and I'm recording the MIDI. So everything is just being programmed directly into that square. So now if I decide now to play it, all the stuff that's been recorded is now there. Now to prove this, I'm going to delete that MIDI out of it to disappear. And I'm going to expand this. Now watch, it's still playing the MIDI, even though the MIDI isn't there. So yeah, as you guessed it, we're going to go to the next square. We want to record the bass into it. So that that way we can actually have two MIDI instruments in one application. We can actually stack this all the way to 16 because there are 16 squares. So yeah, it's a really, really cool way to be able to expand the number of instruments you can actually have in GarageBand. I know you can normally have 32, but this just unlocks a whole new world there. Anyways, we're recording the bass into this timeline here. But as you might have noticed, you're wondering, huh, it's only eight bars. BTalk can actually record up to a maximum of 16 bars. I tend to produce my music in 8 bar loops, but yeah, that's one limitation of this. You can only record up to 16 bars of audio. So I'm going to delete this as well, and we're going to play it again just to make sure. And if you look, you press play, both sounds are present here. And of course, I can always press the play button here, yeah? and it will sync to the timeline. So let's just test this out. I'm going to stop this here directly from BTalk. I'm going to play. And yep, you guessed it, it's playing here. Yeah. Now you might be wondering, okay, this is really cool, but what can we do with it? Well, there's a mode in BTalk called Song Mode. This allows you to layer it by just tapping that S icon. You can actually layer your songs. And you can pretty much just go similar to a regular grid. It allows you to layer the song in whatever way you want to do. You can actually lay out the song. In this case, I'm going to expand the song. 
so that it just starts with the bass on the first eight bars and then expands to the keyboard and the bass on the second one. I'll save the project and I'll save it as Yep, you guessed it, I'm saving it as my name, Sion, just so we can easily find the project. Once I've saved the project, I want to now, I deleted the project, I closed it. I'm going to open up BTalk from scratch. When I open up BTalk, I want to now find the project. I tap on that icon there. I go directly to my user library. I look for the project and I'm going to scroll down until I find, yep, Sion, and I'll load the project. Now, if I play the project, you can get the same sounds, the same loops that were recorded in the project that I presented, which is fantastic. Now, all I want to do is go into song mode by tapping the icon on the top right. That will allow me to be able to see all of the songs here. I can now choose to export. And to export, I'm exporting the MIDI so that I can bring it into a different door. In this case, I'll bring it back to GarageBand to demonstrate this. But I then go into the exports folder and then I'm going to go directly into Sion and then I'll see the Sion MIDI, which is the MIDI I just did. By pressing and holding it for a few seconds, it allows me to actually choose where to send it to. In this case, I want to send it directly to the GarageBand file transfer. Now we're going to open up a new GarageBand project just so we can see exactly how to use the MIDI. So I've got a Liverpool base, that's fine. I'll tap on the loop icon on the top right. I'm going to go directly into files. I'll look for the Sion Mix MIDI. I'll drag and drop it into here. And you can see there's about 16 instruments here with two of them with the actual MIDI I'm using. I can delete the ones I'm not using. But in this case, it's a similar sound. Now let's just try and get it to the right instrument. In this case, I'm just going to look for the bass. Liverpool bass. There we go. And I'm going to change the other one to a classical piano. And so we can play it. As you noticed, we've got 16 bars of loop right now. And it's the same song. So let's just listen. And just like that, you're able to get the MIDI out and use it in other doors. Hope this video was useful. Take it easy. Whoosh.